The city is asking you to help in the fight against rodents by becoming a member of the so-called Rat Pack. As CBS New York's Christy Kalishian reports, a group of volunteers is the focus of the latest rat mitigation program. Rat burrows can keep out of this burrow, and all of them in New York for that matter. That's the message behind the Rat Pack. You don't have to be Frank Sinatra and the crew. Uh, it's just a different type of leader to fight the rats, and we want you to join up and become a member of our Rat Pack. Child and adult volunteers in the yellow shirts and vests from Parent-Child Relationship Association are shoveling mulch around these tree trunks at Sunset Park, both aimed at helping the trees and deterring rats. Unwelcome guests at Lindsay Rubin's neighborhood park. I've seen dead rats while I'm walking my dog, and I've told the parks department their personnel and they pick it up right away because they're fantastic, but the dead rats are not, not a good luck. The organization is one of several working with NYC service behind the Rat Pack, which trains volunteers in becoming rat mitigation ambassadors in their communities. With rats, they also bring like a lot of diseases, obviously, so that's very important to know as well. The program is hoped to go from what's now dozens to thousands of volunteers across the city and joining in takes more than just signing up. To officially become a member, you have to participate in three events. That's a Department of Health hosted Rat Academy, a volunteer event uh, hosted through New York City Service, and then a rat walk with me. These rat walks through different communities are a way for volunteers to take a unique look at rat biology and how they interact with humans. A calendar of volunteer events across the city through September is posted online. I love seeing all the community organizations. They do so much great work in the park here. Rat Academy training start in August and are held both in person and virtually. In Sunset Park, Brooklyn, Christy Kalishian, CBS 2 News.